It's the Brewman's back at you. Mike Russell, Rob Hunter. What we do is we get together, we drink beers, we try them out for you, and we give you a nice, simple, and easy review. Oh, yeah. How you doing, but Mike? the math usually isn't that easy. No, the math, we, that's my fault because I suck at math. I haven't done math since I don't even know when. You know, believe it or not, I couldn't do calculus at one point in my life. It was a long time ago. Okay, no, I couldn't. Brian. I, I copied you. off Brian. Brian, thanks for all the help. Big back shout then. out to Brian. Big shout out to Brian. Check Scholo. out the big brain on Brian. Exactly. So today, Victory Brewing Company, Helios. Helios. This is a farmhouse ale, which I don't know what that is. Uh, actually, the reason why I found this, I was looking for Boulevard, their uh, smokehouse ale, and I found farmhouse ale. So. Let's go with it. Let's, Let's try it out. Now, and Victory Brewing, by. Pennsylvania. It's brewed in Pennsylvania. Okay. So we're going to try that out, see and how it goes. 7.5%. And I don't know about any kind of IBU, so we're just talking ale here. So. Yep. So there you go with the Mike Russell magic trick of opening his beer bottle with his wedding ring. Something I still can't do. magic trick. It is a magic trick. I don't trick. know about a magic trick. You're Harry Houdini. I, mean, I am a little hairy. <laughs> I don't know about Houdini. <laughs> Might need some manscaping, but yeah. Hey, I know. That's fine, too. There's nothing wrong with that. So yeah. right away, I get a little scared because I'm not a fan of yellow fizzy beers. Because it looks like right a wheat beer. Gates, I'm thinking, hmm, okay. Let's go over let's see what we do with this thing. I'm just going to go right in. You it. try it. So, I'm curious, too, because if it's t it looks like a wheat beer, I'm not going to feel it. I'm just not. It's not my thing. and It's, it's wheat-ish. Yeah. It's wheat-esque. Because you can see it's got like some sediment in it. I don't know if you can let's lean in and see if we can get you that. I don't know if you can see that. It's like 3D, 4K coming at you. Yeah. Right. High def. Brewmax review. I don't like the smell of it. This could be bad. Dear Mama, I might not like this beer. It's champagne-y. It's champagne-y. It is. That's a good call. It tastes like champagne. Yeah, it definitely has the wheat the beer. The champagne. Champagne, but it's a wheat beer, and it leaves us funky sort of taste. And Victory, they make good beers. So there's a couple of Victory yeah. beers that I've had that are very good. I'm not sure about this one. We'll give it another try here. i got to figure out what it is. You keep Yeah, you do that. Actually, what this thing just says ale. That doesn't really narrow it down for me. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's... The flowing fields of barley for malting, surging vines of ripening hops... And even pure, clean water owe their vitality to the sun. That's the Victory Brewing movie trailer for the wow. Farmhouse Ale. Yeah. Okay. It'll Whatever. Be. It's, uh, it's, look. It says lemon peel in it. Here, the here's back. the deal. I'm, I'm thinking this is supposed to be a refreshing beer. I'm thinking this is supposed to be something that they're saying, this is like a summerish beer mm -hmm. or a spring beer. It's heavy. It's a very heavy, lighter beer. It just it's sitting it's sitting in my mouth and I'm not a big I'm not a big fan of that. If it was a a hoppier beer, I'd be fine with that. But since it's got those wheat qualities, I agree with you. I'm I'm just not a, wheat beers are just not for me. I just don't like them. I just don't like the, the taste of them. I've never acquired they make it. They burp a lot apparently. They do. Wow. Yeah. So I'm not <laughs> so I'm not feeling this beer really. So I'm not gonna lie. So yeah. So I'm not gonna uh, think we're think we're out of things to say about this, this is one. This getting awkward. Yeah. This beer should not get around, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's I know you got a Tupac shirt on. I'm picking it up. I'm smelling where you're stepping in. Yeah? Yeah. No victory yeah. no victory okay. love on this one. Sorry. Here we go. Helios Farmhouse Ale. What? But the you want to talk I don't about know where farmhouse came from. I'm just Bill and Ron. Cheers, Bill and Ron. Bill and Ron, go back to the drawing board in Helios. Here's what I think of. It just seems like it's farmhouse. Maybe they made it in the backyard of the farm and just threw all the stuff in it and tried to make a good beer with lemon or some peels. Run off from the farm. Yes, that's exactly what this is. It's not good. Uh, no. Shall we score it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. This is the barometer. What we do is we score these beers and tell you whether or not we recommend them to you to drink. Mike, you have the honors. I know what they were trying to do. I know what Bill and Ron were attempting to do here, and they were attempting to take a, a crisp wheat beer, an unfiltered beer, and make it a high-end unfiltered beer. And I just, it's just not my style. I, I've got to go, I've got to throw this thing a three. It's literally what I was thinking, too. I'm saying a three. Make it easy. It's victory, so you give them a couple of points because it's victory. Yeah. But this is not a beer I'm ever going to try again. Sorry, guys. I know I, what you were trying to do. Yeah. 
Just not for us. No. Nope. Not for the roommates. So maybe you like it. Maybe you want to give it a try. We don't recommend it. If you're, yeah, yeah. If you're hop heads like us. Huh. Okay. Yeah. All right. It is what it is. I'm trying to be nice. Yeah. Here. Mike Russell, Rob Hunter, we're the Brewmans. Find us on YouTube, the Brewmans, on Twitter, at the Brewmans, and on Instagram, the underscore Brewmans. We'll be back at you soon with more reviews. Uh-huh.